So let's start from the basics, okay? AI is artificial intelligence. When we say artificial intelligence, what we mean is human-like intelligence or human intelligence by a non-human. So in definition, we could say artificial intelligence is the science of making a non-human think like a human. Okay, if I would define it again, it is the science of making machines smart. Machine here being the non-human, which is a given, I think. So, um, artificial intelligence requires creating a system that will perform tasks that normally requires human intelligence. Tasks like um, image recognition, classification or just simply making decisions okay so tasks that would normally require human intelligence to do will create a system that will be able to perform that task right and that system is a machine all right so artificial intelligence is the science of making a machine perform tasks like a human would that's simple enough so i would um, go into what is ai and machine learning how they kind of come together in using an analogy here right now if you've been a software engineer right or um or you you've worked in the technology space um, either building systems, selling systems, or designing systems, AI is also a system. <laughs> okay, so now the difference is, because some people would say, and I've, I've had that question, that why do we need AI? We already have systems that perform tasks, which is true. We do have systems that perform tasks, but the difference between a traditional system performing a task and an AI system performing a task is in how the AI system performs our task, right? So in a traditional system, what we would do is we would write our code and in the code, there would be, I'm, a, I'm an AI software engineer, so I would try and go a bit technical, but not too technical, just to explain how we build traditional systems compared to building a machine learning system or sorry an ai system now in our traditional system we would have a lot of conditional statements if this then do that if that then do this you know a lot of conditions to kind of guide the systems to know how to perform that task with an ai system We've already trained the machine, so the machine just learns how to do it all by itself. It doesn't need us giving it conditions. It's able to think for itself, mathematically though, but it's able to think for itself and perform that task. Okay, so let me give um, an example in a workplace so let's say you're working in a company that you are being bombarded with spam emails and then your boss says how do we stop having the spam emails in our email box with a traditional system what we would normally do is we will go to a software engineer like myself and then say um can you write a system that filters the spam emails that filters emails coming in and identify which one is spam and which one isn't spam okay now as a traditional system what we would do is we will create a pattern um say spam emails contain certain phrases or words and we will use those words in our conditional statement to say if the email contains act now give us your bank details um, or something similar mark it as spam else allow the email to go to the right inbox now what would happen with such a traditional system is the spam email guys will then learn 
what pattern they were looking for so they will go oh they're looking for words like act now buy now bring your bank details and so they start to change their phrasing in the emails then our spam filter starts to fill because now there are new uh, phrasing in that spam emails then your boss would then say bring the software engineer back to adjust this filtering um system so it can identify the new spam words or phrases now that's a lot of iteration of going back and forth re-engineering your code and all of that okay and as a business that's also recurring cost of you constantly needing the software engineer to um, tweak your spam filter to be able to catch all types of spam now the limitation of that is the software engineer or the software company might just be limited to a certain number of uh, phrases so they would all only be able to protect you from the phrases they know now with artificial intelligence you can get lots of spam emails from everywhere so we will feed the machine with a lot of spam emails and a lot of normal emails and send that to the machine to learn from that data okay so we will represent spam emails and normal emails thousands of them as data and then send it to the machine to learn on of course we're using tools to um to teach the machine so there are machine learning frameworks that we use but we're not going this is a a master class for beginners so we won't go too technical once you send thousands of this data both good data and bad data which is spam emails and non-spam emails to the machine what the machine does is it identifies the pattern it is able by itself using <clears throat> the tool for learning so there are tools built for the machine to be able to learn that we use using the tools for learning to identify the patterns for spam emails and the patterns for non-spam emails and by itself, without your conditional statement or iteration of maintaining your spam filter, it is able to automatically know which one is spam and which one isn't spam. So that is how AI systems perform tasks. So it does the task in a more effective way and, um, and with less iteration, with maintaining it because once you've trained a model it is able to see new data and identify new data as good or bad because it's already encoded in itself the patterns for what is good or what is bad all right so that is the difference between a traditional system and an ai system now machine learning is what makes that ai system able to be an AI system because training that machine right on that data for it to be able to create the patterns and then because it's created those patterns when new data comes in it's able to know what is spam and not spam that is what makes an AI system an AI system <laughs> hope that is clear